Winnipeg's Rosamunda Summer Music Academy has firmly established itself as one of Canada's excellent summer music programs. Boasting an internationally renowned faculty, Rosamunda offers string players of all ages and skill levels a high caliber and holistic learning experience. To tell us more about both the Academy and the Chamber Music Festival, I'm joined by Alation Pauls, Artistic Director and Co-Founder of Rosamunda, along with Yegor Dyachkov, one of the 2018 Distinguished Artists. Good morning to you both. Good morning. Well, it's such a pleasure to have you here, to have you back to the studio, Alation. You co-founded this the Summer Music Academy in 2011, right? That's right, yeah, with Yuri uh, Hooker. What inspired you guys to do so? Well, a lot of things. Um, Yuri had already started a cello camp, mm -hmm. um, and, you know, um, it's great for every teacher to have their students come back to their lessons and fall with, um, you know, a renewed... Um, sense of passion for their instrument and uh, sense of community and so we wanted to foster that and um, it was uh, yeah it was really great timing for uh, starting at CMU because um, Earl Davey who was the vice president of CMU at the time um, was asking me if we wanted to do some teaching over the summer mm -hmm. there and um, yeah it's such a such a wonderful place, this Winnipeg of ours, and we wanted to bring uh, teachers in. And, you know, growing up, uh, attending summer programs are just so essential in mm -hmm. continuing your development and broadening your horizons. And uh, to have something like that available to students in Manitoba and Winnipeg, um, it, it just seemed like a real opportunity we couldn't pass up. No kidding. I mean, yeah, it's it's funny. Funny you mentioned the, the summer lull, right? Normally, the summer is a time to you know relax and not. But what you guys have done here is craft something that really uh, pushes players in a nurturing environment. I, I'm curious, how's it growing? Though this is the eighth Rosamunda, right? Well, yeah, we did have one year of of hiatus, uh, so it's actually the seventh session. Kay. But yeah, it has changed a lot over the years. We started out um, with a five day camp, and we really weren't sure how much of a response we would have. Um, so we you know, we sent out this fairly minimal brochure mm -hmm. um, and ended up having to hire more faculty because uh, we had such a demand. And then, so we did that for two years. And then um, for the third session, we expanded to 10 days. Mm -hmm. And um, each year we've brought in guests, um, first only two guests. Um, this year we have a number of different people coming in um, at different times. Uh, over the 10 days. So it's, um, yeah, every day is jam-packed with activities and, you know, brings brings something that, that the students will really be inspired by. So uh, it utilizes not only our outstanding string community here, but also these these internationally renowned artists like Yegor Djachkos, who's joined us here in the Classic 107 yes, studio. Good Wel morning. Welcome to Classic 107. Thank you. I'm pleased to be here. Well, I, we're <laughs> pleased to have you back in Winnipeg. You were just here not long ago performing with the WSO. That's right. Mm -hmm. uh, and what? How did you get involved with, with Rosamunda? Well, this is my first time. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, actually, Elation kindly asked me when I was here. I think it was about that time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Around the, the concerts, the concerto performances with WSO. She asked me whether I could be here the summer at around this time and I said yeah let's let's try to make it happen so it's very very simple actually and and here you are well what is it about summer summer academies for you that that you find important as, as an instructor and also as a performer because you're, mm -hmm. we're going to touch on the the chamber music festival uh, this right. weekend but mm -hmm. a, as an instructor what, what is important to you about about summer music academies well um, it's a chance for students to, to meet new people uh, the, to emulate, you know, I think to have a lot of other string players, cellists around them is very, very stimulating in and of itself. And also to meet new teachers, mm -hmm. uh, uh, maybe to have some fresh ideas or to have old ideas but explained slightly differently mm -hmm. is, is also very, very helpful. And for me, uh, you know, th this summer, I think this is my fourth academy and, uh, and I, I did a few festivals. So, I, you know, I did a lot of playing at the same time, but it's... It, you know, it's f it. Uh, when I started teaching at university at a very, um, you know, uh, uh, fairly busy pace, I found that yeah, it's it's quite demanding, but it's also it's really nurturing for me as well as I perform because the fact that I speak about the music, that I explain things, uh, also teaches me something. So uh, it, it's kind of an, uh, a chance for me to maybe not be alone with my suitcase as well. <laughs> <laughs> well Alicia, I'd like to 
point the mic back at you with with festivals. Uh, uh, sorry, with this academy and, and bringing in the likes of Yegor Dyatchkov. Oh, how, how do you go about getting these outstanding talents? I mean, it really is. It must be a, a wonderful opportunity for these young players, ages ten to twenty four. Yeah, yeah, right? every, yeah. Every we have a number of different programs. So actually, um, right now the core students are are. Yeah, 10 to 22. Mm-hmm. Um, but next week we start up with the mini rosies. And uh, yeah, they're, they're. Can you speak to that a little bit? The, yeah. the mini rosies? <laughs> <laughs> There's a big smile. Yeah, my, uh, my daughter's actually joining the oh, mini nice. rosies for the first time this year, which <laughs> is really fun. Um, so there's there are some young um, kids just like I think the youngest is four this wow. year. So yeah, um, they just come for half a day, uh, Monday to Friday. Uh-huh. Um, so yeah, violin, viola, cello. Um, we have only one double bass this year, so we need more double basses. But <laughs> um, yeah, my daughter uh, Clara is starting on violin uh, for the half day, and then there's also f- a full day program um, for you know the. 8 to 12 uh, age range, Mm -hmm. um, which is Monday to Friday, but the full day. Um, And uh, yeah, so many different programs. We also have the adult amateurs Mm -hmm. and I think you had an original question there that I haven't quite. Well, no, I mean, I I think you've really spoken to it. I'm curious also about the number of students that are here for Rosalmund. Yeah, we have this year we have 71. Wow. Um, The. I think there was one year we had 80 and it was the the um, building was kind of maxed out as was the the scheduling um, which is pretty complicated because mm-hmm. it's all um, individualized uh, every student gets um, throughout the day they get uh, private lessons uh, coachings with the piano um, and master classes they they perform two or three times um, they have uh, chamber music, they have orchestra, and we're also offering Feldenkrais classes this mm-hmm. year. Um, and, you know, these, the body awareness uh, aspect is really important. Um, and yeah, it's so exciting for me. Um, I just have a real passion for seeing this group of people together. And every year it's different and every year it's exciting. And uh, it's it's so fun to to have um, to to bring people like Jaeger to to these students and see where those relationships go. You know, students mm-hmm. have um, met their future teacher at Rosamunda, and it's really neat to to watch them as they go on uh, over into their twenties and you know twenty five, where the, where they end up. And the, they aren't exclusively Manitoba students. Either. No, no, that's so right. So where do students come from? Um, we've had students from as far away as Iceland. Yeah. Um, some from the States. Um, this year we have uh, a couple of students from uh, Ontario, so nice. uh, just north of Toronto and Ottawa. And yeah, we're looking to expand that for sure. Um, the awareness uh, sort of uh, nationwide. Um, our faculty is coming from Victoria and Ottawa mm-hmm. and Montreal. So, um, so the word is slowly spreading for sure. Well, and, and rightfully so in this naturing and, and tailored environment. So there is the 10-Day Academy, but there is also a chamber music festival that accompanies it, and that kicks off this weekend. That's what can, right. What can you tell us about the chamber music festival that's going on? Yeah, so there are three concerts, um, Friday night, 7 o'clock, Saturday night, 7 o'clock, Sunday afternoon at 3 o'clock. Um, yeah, and it's just, I'm really excited about it. It's um, it's a real banquet of uh, amazing uh, composers and uh, sounds, everything from, you know, brand new, well, brand new 2012 uh, mm-hmm. revision of a piece called Balance by David R. Scott. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, he, he just yeah. came back from Iceland, actually. Yeah. He will be there. Um, Outstanding. Yeah, and uh, uh, to, you know, the Doch Nani that you played, the serenade just mm-hmm. before we this. You heard a little snippet. And um, and the, the Sunday afternoon concert is uh, pretty fitting with the Wegg's exhibition uh, on right now with the, yeah, impressionists. the impressionists. So, um, yeah, uh, Jaeger's going to be playing the Ravel with Axel Strauss. Wow, um, and yeah. I'm what totally a pumped about hearing that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so all these all, all these performances are taking place at Canadian Mennonite University, correct? That's right. At the yeah. Laudamus Hall. Um, Friday and Sunday are at the Laudamus Auditorium, but mm. Saturday we are going to head over to the Marpec Commons, um, oh, the, which is yeah. also on, on campus, uh, and we've never had a concert there, but I'm really looking forward to hearing that space uh, in the Folio Cafe. 
Um, and so that's air conditioned in case we nice. have some. Uh, you We've know. had some warm weather here <laughs> yes. in Winnipeg. It has been very warm, and the Loud Adams Auditorium uh, can get warm, but it's also a very special environment. So, um, so yeah, the the Cosmopolitans is sort of the subtitle for the Saturday concert. Um, so it's it is appropriate that we're we're heading over to a new uh, new venue for that. Wonderful. Um, Yegor, I, I'd like to welcome you back to the microphone yes. here. And, and the Saturday performance that you're going to be giving along with Axel Strauss, have you, have you performed together before? Uh, Sunday, I think. Uh, the yeah. Sunday, rather, yeah. yeah. Right. Uh, we, we, yes, we have a trio together. Oh, the right. Montreal Piano Trio. Right, right, right. I, yes, that yeah, is He's totally a great colleague, um, altogether wonderful guy and uh, fantastic violinist. So I'm really happy to... Uh, see him once again here. Of course. We uh, haven't played this piece before well, together. That, that's what I was going to ask you is, uh, did you bring this piece of music? Was this something, a, a bucket list performance, if you will, where it was one that you wanted to perform together? Or? Um, well, actually, Elation came up with <laughs> this. Uh, but maybe Elation, I, I see that some of your programming choices w were, uh, you know, inspired by some of the recordings, right? So, so the Prévost Sonata, for instance, you, maybe you found out or, or not. I didn't know. No, okay. You because recorded because it? I recorded oh, that's it. Okay. So neat. Well, look at this. It's all okay. coming together so right. wonderfully. Right. Well, you know, <laughs> serendipity. Uh, <laughs> yes, and uh, yeah, Ravel, I have recorded with another mm -hmm. wonderful Montreal uh, violinist, Olivier Toin. Um, mm -hmm. And uh, well, uh, Axel and I, yes, we, uh, we have mm -hmm. been playing together for, for, for a bit and we really enjoy it. I'm looking forward to that. And uh, that's a kind uh it's an incredible piece that that Ravel uh, sonata it um one of the contemporaries one of the critics when it was first premiered wrote that um uh one was looking for an orchestra yeah <laughs> that uh you know the density of writing the how how uh, clear the the ideas uh, um how clearly they're expressed but also the uh, you know the cello is basically pl playing all around all registers it's it's busy. There's no no way you can turn your pages. Wow. Um, yeah. You know, I play with an iPad, so that's mm -hmm. that's fine for nowadays. But there's a place in the finale that I think you're going to you've queued up. I have it queued uh, up. Right. And we're going to end with that. Right. So uh, the the violinist usually has to turn one of the pages because there's just there's an, it, it's busy, 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 and it's, it's spectacular. Uh, the, of course, uh, Ravel is uh, an incredible master of uh, harmony and also rhythm. His play, you know, his plays on rhythm are legend. They, they really are. <laughs> they really are. Well, thank you both for being here this morning. I appreciate you very much coming in. Uh, sure. There's more information up at holzemunde.ca. You can read both about the Chamber Music Festival that takes place and also the 10-Day Academy. Plus, I, and we should say, that students are also going to be giving a, uh, a series of performances as well. Uh, That's right. right. Yeah, those concerts are all free and open to the public. Um, so the first one is Wednesday, mm -hmm. uh, 4.30. Next week, yeah. Wednesday, Thursday, next, Friday. Next week, that's right, yeah. yeah. Um, 4.30 is the core uh, students' solo recital. Mm -hmm. um, and then Thursday is the core two uh, solo recital. And then Friday, we kind of go all day, starting at 11 with the mini rosies. And then 1.30 are all the um, other programs, concerts, and our adult amateur program, um, the Rosamundiads, we call them, they're performing at the Wellington on Thursday evening. So yeah, everybody gets gets a, a great performance in and um, you know, our audiences really enjoy those. Everybody gets to play and also I should mention there's a wonderful community of local musicians. Mm. Uh, we have Carl, to thank Carl them, yeah. Sabi, Elise Lavallée, Desiree Abbey, uh, and, and many others, Dan Schultz. Uh, Every time I come to Winnipeg, and I, I've come here a lot, I, I'm just uh, amazed by the atmosphere and mm -hmm. the, the spirit of sharing that, that these people create. Well, looking forward to 10 wonderful days of music making. More information up at rosamunde.ca, that's R-O-S-A-M-U-N-D-E, or head to classic107.com.